Hey, what's good family? In this video, I'm going to be showing you a software that you can use to help you pick your earnings rates. But real quick, before we get into the video, if you haven't already, be sure to check out the Moomoo link down below in the description. Uh, when you sign up, get up to 15 free stocks, plus an additional $30 if you haven't already taken advantage of that. And now without further ado, let's get into the video. So I know some of you are wondering, what are we looking at here? And for those of you which is probably all of you that don't know. This is Derive AI. This is going to be hopefully one of our best friends. Uh, this software is free to use right now. I'm not sure how long it's going to be free, but they are still unlocking features and things for us to use. Right now they have the watch list feature, which we'll look at later, uh, maybe in another video. But today we are going to be looking at the optimize tool and let me tell you it is so good they had to limit our use to it you can only provide so much free value so uh, going on taking a look at it uh, we're going to take a look at how this can help us pick contracts so right here uh, we're going to click optimize and uh, you can see here i've already used three today we're going to be limited with how many of those we can use each day so do what you can to take the most of these if you like this uh, so first thing that we're going to do here we're going to pick a ticker symbol and in this instance i'm going to use apple it's kind of my one of my go-to's and next you're going to pick a strategy so this is going to like let me talk about why you would want to use this so say you have a thesis for a stock say you think it's going up because of earnings say you think it's going up because of an event say you think it's going down whatever this is going to help you find the most optimal contract for you and it's going to show you all the analytics on it so now that you better understand it let's continue and get back to it all right so looking at it you're going to pick a strategy type right now uh, they only have single options so just going to be calls and puts so we'll click single option and then pick your max position costs i usually like to maybe top out around 250 so here in this case here we'll go 250 but it also works with lower amounts so be aware of that too and then right here you're going to select your risk tolerance uh, me i would say if you're trading options you know most options are going to be high risk so i would like to oh kind of leave it right there i noticed there's minimal low medium high speculative extreme i feel like high is still pretty safe whenever it's speculative and extreme but i still want some profit so i'm going high and then i'm going to click next so now it's market outlook this is where you input what do you know? What do you think is going to happen? Like, what is your outlook on the market? All right. So it's going to first have you select your target move type. So you can be conservative, which means this is going to be like, hey, I can't afford to lose that much of what I'm putting in here. So that $250, maybe you can only afford for it to go down to 220 You know, so that would be conservative. If you can afford more a larger loss maybe maybe that's down to like i don't know maybe maybe it's like oh it's down 50 to 80 dollars i don't know and then long aggressive it's like the potential is probably really high but also you may potentially lose all your your money so that's what you're picking here so short's going to be you, you still have conservative moderate and aggressive short's going to be your puts when you think it's going down long is going to be calls if you think it's going up so in this instance let's go moderate and let's go long all right so then it has trading mode so between the modes you can scalp so these are going to be quick trades uh, honestly something like this just being real for me it wouldn't work if i have to find most optimal trades on scalp trades i feel like by the time you actually do them the trade is gone so i personally not looking at any scalps day trades might work so this could be anywhere from longer than probably a few minutes to 
you know, maybe you buy it at the start of the day, ride it to the end of the day. Maybe you buy it midday to the end of the day, maybe morning, midday, anything like that, anywhere in the time frame of the day. Uh, that's the possibility for these day trades. Then swing trades anywhere from one to three days. And you got, and you got position trades that are going to be anywhere from one to five weeks. I kind of personally consider swing trades to be anywhere from one to any pretty much anything longer than the day that you're you know holding multiple days that's what i kind of consider but you know position trade may be a better term if it's longer so you know who who knows what they're talking about uh, this website probably knows a lot more than i do so in this instance we'll look at swing trades and then we'll go next all right so Fun fact, from the time of this recording, I think Apple has its earnings in two days. So that actually, can I go back? Oh yeah, I can go back. Here, let's go position trade. All right, so that way we encompass earnings and maybe what's expected to happen after that on the trajectory thing. So I'm gonna hit next. All right, then it's gonna allow us to review everything we just went over. Ticker symbol is Apple. Uh, it's a single option. Max position cost is 200. Notice it's in dollars or 250. Risk tolerance is high. The target move type is long, is moderate, not looking for anything aggressive. And the trading mode is going to be a position trade, which can be anywhere from one to five weeks and ideally fall somewhere in between that. So we will hit complete and then we'll let it do its thing. So when you have websites like this, sometimes you gotta wait for the optimization because uh, oh, there's probably a reason it's free right now. But uh, yeah, it looks like didn't have to wait very long. All this is real time, not really too heavy on the edits for this video. I'm just here talking you through this and we're walking through this in real time. So now it's going through, it's completing the optimization and uh, yeah kind of sitting here for a little bit but hey you know it's going hard to work because you see this little animation spinning down here so let's see let's see all right so didn't have to wait too long all this is in real time uh so taking a look at it apple is currently trading at 233.73 and the market is experiencing high volatility we're considering a long position because we expect the price to rise moderately within the next 15 days. We're looking at buying a call option with a strike price of $255 expiring on November 15th, 2024. All right, so uh, that's about two weeks out from now. This trade has a lower wind chance, which is quite risky for this to work. Apple needs to Apple's price needs to rise above 255. The main risk is that if Apple's price doesn't increase as expected, you could lose your entire investment. So I love how this is going through and actually educating you and telling you, hey, here are the risks. This is what you need to consider. This is a good way to kind of go through and uh, look at trades and then also take into the things that you may not, but probably should be taking into account when you're making a trade so right here these were the settings that we put into the optimizer and this is i guess the projection so it says the market regime right now i guess high volatility on apple it says the future volatility is about 36.54 percent honestly i don't know what the numbers mean but i know the higher this is the more movement, the more up and down, the wilder the ride. And as I see something about a future price at 261.93, and that'd be crazy. But uh, yeah, that's that's almost a thirty dollar increase or thirty. Yeah. So now down here, you can see there are different kind of options contracts that you have, and notice they all have different scores. So. I would think uh, this one right here would be the best contract that they're selecting. And I guess this one right here would be the second best. So looking right here, you can see that it's sharing and it is showing uh, 
a call for the $255 strike price that expires November 15th. The last price it traded at was $0.47. Cents. And right now the minimum cost is about $46 for the whole contract, which would be $0.46. Cents. Uh, it says the risk for this trade is high. The delta. So it, it has the Greeks in there for you. It has the delta, the gamma, the theta. It has what you want to know. So for those of you that are really into the Greeks and you know can't live without certain things hey there you go you know you always want your delta to be higher than your theta so it's looking good to me um, it shows a position size of two contracts so your total cost in this case would be 92 and then it shows the max loss which i would say is a little off because uh right here we have a position size of two and it says it shows a max loss to be the equivalent of one but hey, it, it is what it is. Um, I'm sure they'll they'll fix that later on. But yeah, right now, just pay attention when it comes to posi position size. If you're getting multiple, uh, know that you will have to more than likely multiply the max cost by the number of positions you have. Or maybe it'll be fixed. But uh, as of right now, that's what I'm seeing. Now, then you have your price movement analysis. And this shows you really the possibility for your trade so the this orange line it would be today so right here today if we bought this contract this is kind of like more of a projected price so as the price of the stock moves up this is showing the kind of the movement of the contract and you see Right here, you can see the stock price in the white. It, whenever I try to touch it, it moves. But uh, on the white, that's showing where it would be for the stock price for that time. And you know, if it's all the way up at 280 at expiration, the contract will have increased by about 447%. And you can also come through and kind of move the days so if i wanted to like shift through this you can see that it'll kind of change like notice this chart will change so yeah it's just going through changing and it'll kind of move effectively now going on kind of looking at it, you can see max loss is all right this is the worst possible outcome which is almost it's, it's pretty much all the money it's it going to zero but really it's going it it's it going to one because you know you can't sell anything less than one no one's just going to buy it to any, for anything so it's just going to expire worthless and then your break even on this contract would be 243 or apple at 243 um 98 but this is going to be in seven days so if we we're looking for tomorrow notice these numbers change and if it were today the numbers change again and break even on the contract would be 233.98 but yeah so it just needs to go up a little bit for you to be break even on the contract today now going on uh, you can see there are other contracts in here and uh you can come in and do the same thing once again this one's pretty nice too you got the delta higher than the theta uh, this one's just for one contract so you'll notice the uh, position size and the max loss and the total cost they're all right there lined up leveled and looking good and uh yeah the charts here for this as well so so yeah just wanted to show you that one quick run through if you want to see your old ones from the past you can hit that back arrow and yeah you can see all the ones that you've done and then if you want to optimize another one you would just hit optimize and you see now i only have three left i'm gonna save these i might want to you know do some research before doing some more but that is going to be how you use this tool this tool is called derive ai if you like what you see and want to take advantage of derive ai while it's free be sure to check it out i'll have a link down below in the description if you haven't already taken advantage of it 
gotten your free stocks, gotten your $30, and you're 8.1% on all your uninvested cash, be sure to check out the Moomoo Moo referral link down below in the description. And also on your way down there, be sure to smash the like button. If for some reason you made this far and haven't already, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so that you don't miss any future content. And last, but certainly not least, thank you so much for watching. Matthew Manuel signing off, and I want to change your life.